as line chart. So we're going to now save this example. Line chart example. Rename the class. We're going to get rid of the code that's specific to PyChart. I'm going to leave the rest of the code in place. So first of all, we're going to learn how you can define axis. So there's a class called number axis. where you can literally define the values on your x-axis. So for example, I can say, um, I want my starting value to be 1960. I want my ending value to be 2020. And I want these values to be in the increments of 10. So that's how my number axis is being set. 1960 is the start value, 2020 is the end value, and they are in the increments of 10. And I can literally set my axis to have a label and I'll call it years. Then I'll create another object of number axis type. I'll just name it Y axis. And as you can see, uh, whenever you create an object of ax number axis type, there is no way to tell is it if it's for x-axis or y-axis. That's why you name them accordingly. And then the way you add them to the chart, uh, that defines where, where they're going to go on the chart. So now over here, I will start from 0. My end value is 350, and I want an increment of 50. And this one will going to be called number of schools. So in these years, these many number of schools are being produced. So now I create an object of line chart type. And to this object, the first parameter I give, it automatically is treated as the x-axis, and the second parameter I give automatically is treated as the y-axis. Next, I need to prepare the whole series of values by setting my data. So I have an xy chart dot series. So I set the name of my series, and now I'm going to be grabbing data. Again, this data could come from an array, could come from any other place. And it comes down in the pairs of X and Y. So I'm basically putting out six dots here.
So once we have placed these points on the chart, so now it is time to set the data to line chart. So first we set the points and now we are actually assigning those points to our line chart. And unlike the last application, we're going to be assigning the line chart um, to the group. So when you run this application, you will see that the number of schools get to be displayed on x-axis, the years get to be displayed on y, uh, sorry, um, on x-axis years, number of schools in y-axis, and this number of schools in a year goes down as a title or as a name and it just plots all these points that you have given between lines 25 through 30. Again, a pain in the neck to be done on swing. So can you have a in chart then? Like if we have a number of elementary schools, can you have two lines in the same chart? Uh, you can have one series per chart. Similarly, you can also assign besides name if you want to say line chart dot set title number of schools. So they're going to assign it as a title of the chart versus a name of the series. So now if I want to add more than one series to the same line chart, I have to create more than one series. Is that what you were asking before? Yeah, okay. Create, create oh. two lines in the same chart. Okay. So now if I grab this data, for example, if I copy this data and I paste it again, let me call this series two. And let me change give them different names. Uh, let me call this one Chicago and I'm going to call this one New York series two. Two, 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 two. And let me change the number of schools here. 45, 100, 135, 190. 290. Okay. So I created two sets of series. The first series, the name is Chicago. The second series, the name is New York. And then when I'm adding these series, instead of calling add, I now have to call add all. And then I can add multiple series like that. So, is that what you're asking for, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Now, let me try this first.
So, did that change the color of this one? 